Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to do an unhaul video. I've lifted the camera up and you're a little bit wobbly at the minute because look at all these books I have to get rid of. I have lots and lots of books to get rid of to show you that I'm getting rid of. So basically I'm having a bit of a shelf reorganisation and I'm getting rid of some books. The first book I'm going to unhaul is Scandal in the Regency Ballroom by Louise Allen. Don't even know why I picked this one up to be honest. Because I must have been going through a bad patch at the time. The next book I'm going to unhaul is The River of Destiny by Barbara Erkstein. I did pick this up in a haul. <laughs> I only hauled it a couple of months back actually. It, do it does sound good but it's not something that I'm into at the minute. It sounds really really interesting. I tried reading a bit of it and I think I only got I only got like 40 pages into it and I wasn't really it was jumping around quite a bit so I didn't really enjoy getting into it it was really difficult to get into so these next ones i'm going to unhaul if you've watched my bookshelf video i rearranged my bookshelf and i basically did a mini tour and these came flying off the shelf these are the first things that come flying off my shelves and this these ones are twilight new moon eclipse and breaking dawn all by stephanie mayer the next book i'm going to unhaul is burned by pc and Kristen cast this is another um this is one of the house of night novels I had all of them up to this one, including this one, and then she's gone on. They've gone on to do some more. I just didn't enjoy the book at all. Um, I, I only got a couple. Of, you know, I didn't even get halfway through it, and I got bored of it. The series dragged on a bit. Um, I think I just grew out of the series while waiting around for each new book, because I was about 17, 18 when this one came out, and I just didn't really like it. It started getting a bit far fetched for me, so I'm going to get rid of that one. I unhauled a big pile of books and it wasn't even recording. How stupid is that? Next book I'm going to unhaul is The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, which is the Eclipse novella um, by Stephanie Mayer. This concept was a good idea. It was basically about how one of the vampires became a vampire. A kind of thing I think would be a good idea for novellas um, if she had a sort of... I know it came out at the time, but if I was still into Twilight at that point, I think I would have really enjoyed them. The next book I'm going to unhaul is The Discovery of Chocolate by James Runcy. This book essentially, from what I get, is about sex. Not love, sex. And I got rid of Fifty Shades of Grey off my shelf and I do not need any more sex on my shelf. So that's gone. The next one is Meet Me Under the Mistletoe by Abby Clements. I picked this up around Christmas time from a charity shop. Never read it even at Christmas time. That was the whole point of me buying it. Never really read it. The next book I'm going to unhaul is Claire de Lune by Christine Johnson. This book is about werewolves and at the time I was very much Twilight, I was coming out of my Twilight sort of era in my book life. The next one I'm going to get rid of, although I might keep it for nostalgia, is Harry Potter You're the Best and that's edited by Sharon Moore. Basically it's an, it's an unauthorised tribute, see look, unauthorised tribute. Basically all it is is uh, loads of, it's a book with loads of letters and pictures in. Um, for example some images there um, people basically wrote in these letters and it's yeah this one however this this is quite a good one Harry from New York New York I would like to ask JK Rowling to make an eighth book of Harry Potter so we know what Harry does as a fully trained wizard New York New York guy you're my hero we should totally campaign for that you know JK Rowling you know if, you, if you're watching just saying just saying, 8th book, fully trained wizard. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. The next book, and possibly the last book, I think it is the last book, The 100 Year Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared by Jonas Jonasson. This was one of the first books I did a review for on my blog. I really didn't enjoy it. I just felt it went on. I mean, I think it's just because it's not my kind of thing. Um, it was mainly a cover by and the back sounded really good and really interesting. Some of it was interesting but then some of the parts about like his life just sort of dragged on and that's the, the whole point of his book. This book is to document his life really and I felt that it did drag on in places and that's really going to give me some haters and I'm really sorry. But yeah, um, you know if you like this book then I'm all for it. I completely respect it but it just wasn't for me. Right, so that is it. I have given you a big amount of books that I'm unhauling. I'm 13! I am unhauling 13 books! And that's quite a lot for me really because I buy quite a lot of books. And yeah, so that is it really for this video. That was my book, my first ever book unhaul. 
because I'm getting really really good with this terminology now guys yeah I shall hopefully see you very very soon um, I have a few more videos in the pipeline if this one goes out before them if not then you're the last one and I'm really sorry so yeah thank you for sticking around this long um, if you like what you see then click the like button oh my god I sound so cheesy leave a comment down below should I keep any of those books and if you say I should keep Twilight then I'm in trouble because I don't want to keep Twilight yeah just let me know in the comments is there anything you're unhauling is there any unhauled videos you'd like me to see um yeah I'll see you all soon with another video bye hi everyone oh are we filming yes we're filming oh yeah this that I, I think I might try to get all these off my knee because now I'm really really dusty